Listen, I mean, come on. TikTok did say it's a song and a half. Beyonce, cuff it. All right, 651, we're hanging with Zola and the maze. I love it. Yeah. I really want to say no. Zola Nomborn. Nomborn. I want to hey. say Zola Nomborn, but you know, it sounds beautiful the way Zola, uh, the way uh, Sol said it. It sounds like it's a band, like it's something big, like it's something like global. Okay, cool. I, re- I receive that. Zola and the maze, guys. That, that mm, I Zola think. and the maze. Okay, Zola but generally Nombona. speaking, no pop can't. performances. I'm going to manage for sure Zola and the maze. Yeah! <laughs> ah, yes! Yes! But Zola Nombona means that. The is now inspired by, you know, okay, Zola and the, the maze. maze. Oh my gosh. Yes, and must be manufactured as Zola. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things are big. things that build economies, not this Eskom uh, Cyril Ramaphosa economy. So, how are you managing in this load shedding economy? I mean, it's, it's actually quite challenging. It's really crazy, and oh. for me, it's actually more scary because now Angiti, we are business owners now, yes. and we're trying to do stuff, and now you're seeing that people are closing down their businesses now. That means people aren't getting money now. People can't buy. Yeah. You're like, yeah. where do you do? Where do we sit now? So it's affecting us in a really scary, scary way, man. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. I can imagine. Let's talk work. Yes, let's. Um, your latest biggest contracts, your latest biggest signs. Okay, I want to. I want to go down memory lane. Who she okay. is, where she was born, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. park that. Let's talk Shut about. Up. Show me the money. Yeah. Your biggest signs, your biggest signs of the past three years, <gasps> and noticeably the greatest change when the winds of change happened for you in your career. I think right now my highlight would be um, working with Fashini. Mm-hmm. Um, it has always been a dream. You know, mm-hmm. when you grow up, you're like, okay, cool, I want to be on TV. But then you see all these other cool stuff that um, are the backhanded um, advantages of being in the industry, you know, yeah. like working with big brands and seeing yourselves on billboards and, and, and. Um, so now um, I had the opportunity to collaborate and work with a very, um, I don't want to say old brand, but a very seasoned brand such mm-hmm. as Fashini, you know. Yes, and for seasoned. them to to come in and take me as I am and take me home and mm. um, have the opportunity to share to the world my family because people just know Zola on yes, screen you on know screen. Zola on social media mm, mm, uh, mm. but now to introduce you guys to who I actually am where I'm from and my family I think was a huge as highlight and like you said the winds of change started with that and things are, are different now Beautiful. I'm starting to see um, money differently I'm yes. starting to see my um capabilities differently my impact you know all of that yeah. so i'd say for now what's what's sitting at the top of mind is my fashion collaboration uh, before, how yeah. did zola see money before and after because you said there's a difference there was a switch at some point she yeah. was chasing it before and it, she wasn't letting it come yeah, to her right? before she was chasing mm-hmm. it and thinking there's only one way to chase it which okay cool um i know what i've invested in in terms of i went to varsity to go mm-hmm. study acting you know and something that i've been doing for a couple of years so thinking okay guaranteed this is how i could get it but now getting mm-hmm. into that type of space and saying oh so it can also come in this way and mm-hmm. that doesn't take anything away from what people know me as instead mm-hmm. we're like okay and then the other one mm-hmm. okay what else do you have scary 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 to, to do something like that but yeah now it's starting to come to me fantastic yeah those that don't know you that are listening right now because uh-huh. there's people that live under a rock <laughs> and i'm one of those people like i meet people all the time and i go oh my god i know your name yeah good to meet you i've yeah. heard of but don't really know you mm-hmm. those that are hearing of you for the first time you would say they might have known you from where well wow, because the- you're a household brand name <laughs> Yes, no effects, you are. You know, thank you. Yes. Like um, Umbona, it's household. Siayazio. Yeah, you know, yes, you know what's yeah. interesting about that? I met someone who actually said there's there's so much power in your surname which I didn't you know before mm. and then we're like, Umbona is something that's very sustainable. A hundred percent. Oh yeah. And 100%. like it clicked so much later in my life, I'm like, Oh, can't even the ancestors have got the girl, you know, it's in the yes, name, you know. Name. We miss the little things. Mm. But I'm digressing. Um about to Abangamaz Yuzola, I am an actress by profession. I've been in wonderful productions in South Africa. I've done um well most people know me via lockdown, which was our my first favorite drama. performance of yours. <laughs> you. My yeah. favorite performance of yours. I'm so grateful that you were cast yeah. for that role because boy did you breathe Thank life into you. what the writers envisioned. Yeah. It was it was a beautiful sure. journey, man. It was a beautiful mm. journey working with Black Brain. So yeah, I did that and um some couple of films. I was on Generations not so long ago and now getting into being a mom and a businesswoman. That simple. Yeah. And that's how we wrap it up for now. For now, for now, she's still with us. Uh, we shall say goodbye to her in a bit. She's joining us for the entire first hour of the show. So 6.55, we're headed to top of the hour. Like it's, hmm, it's beautiful. Senior Oat, thank you for the music. I appreciate this one quite a lot. Featuring Kemi Chiende, right? 19 after 7, we're hanging with uh, Zola Nombona.
And I think at some point I called you Zama, and I don't know why. I remember saying Zama. Did you, did you hear me say Zama? I did. It but, was a bit of a Zama um, Zama situation then. Eh? I was trying my luck. Didn't didn't land. It didn't land well, my dear. But like it's the morning. Come on. Yeah, bo. Yeah. I'll wake I up at you. I'll wake up at uh, no, you're six back. p.m. Am I no, back? You're back? You're back. You trust Zola? You, you there? <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Nineteen after seven is traffic with Sol. When we come back, we chat more to this amazing, phenomenal woman who's equally married. Well, married e- to an equally phenomenal man. Going to talk about that. All things yes. business, marriage, love, you name it. Challenges in such spaces, and how we stay at the best of our mental well-being. Yeah. 21 after 7, if you are on the road, headed to work, on the offices, well, to the offices, um, and, uh, you know, I hope you're calm wherever you are, and even if you're running late, I hope you're handling it with grace towards yourself. Self-kindness is important. I think we pressure ourselves quite a lot. We put ourselves under immense stress, and we put ourselves under stress over things we can't control. Uh Do you, Zola, have a list of things, maybe top three things that you had to let go of? that were out of your own control and Uh you had to say, spirit, be still? Um, Yeah, I think getting into business, um, there's a lot of obviously things that you need to learn Mm as you're going. So I think what I decided to let go of is I'm being so hard on myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm, I'm someone who's very hard on myself, Mm -hmm. believe it or not. Um, So I think in Fundile Barumba, look, people always have... um, opinions or Abantu will always um, say stuff to you that is maybe not... um, I am be taking this course, mm, mm, but I've mm. learned to go to, you know what, man, let people say what they got to say, man. If I know my truth and um, I'm doing my best and my intentions are good, mm, then so be it. Mm. Yeah. How's married life? Yo, I'm going to catch you on me. I'm going to go four seasons in a day. <laughs> but it's great. It's great. I absolutely uh, love Thomas and I think he's an amazing partner and amazing dad. Listen, we love your husband. We absolutely do. He's got such a beautiful energy. Um, I know he's a television producer, yes. um, also in business in that regard. Yeah. How hectic is his schedule uh, in comparison to yours? Crazy. And lately it has become, it has actually escalated and um, I've learned to, you know, I'm talking about support and I'm cousin. Mm. It's really not easy. Yeah. It's really not easy, especially because me and him are in a in the same industry. Yes. You say, you know? Yes. So there's this conversations he's having where I sit there and I'm like, yo, what about me? Yes. 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 I'm like, hey, I'm also yeah. You are supposed you know? to be the main black but yeah, yeah, but now I other names just... are being pulled out of the head. Yo. How's your wife for a chance? <laughs> 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 but yeah. understanding that I'm like Success or being busy is a cyclical thing, yeah. right? And I had my chance and I understand that I'm going through, maybe I'm just chilling in the waiting room for now. Yes. But being patient while I'm there and being faithful yeah. while I'm still there because I know my time is going to come. So the one thing that he needs is a supportive partner at home because mm. the whole world is demanding so much from him at the moment. There's everyone calling him who wants to work with him. There's everyone yeah. wanting him to plug him somewhere. And mm. the, I believe the last thing he needs is a, is a nagging partner at, at home. So yes. as much as it's tough, you know, um, I, I, I know why I'm doing it and I know why he is doing what he's doing and supporting his dream. I keep on saying Thomas is someone who's always pregnant. And um, I know how it feels to be yes. pregnant. I know it feels before you give birth. And right yes. now he's about he's in the pangs of about to push out he's his dream. And he's mm, heavy and labor. it's about to be active. Mm. It's about to be very active right now. You're so the, it's crowning, it, right? Oh, ah, I can beautiful. see the head. Yes, you know, yes, and, and like, I, yes. I, I can see the pressure. And but I know that he's also enjoying it and he's growing in it as well. Yeah. So it's constantly supporting my pregnant husband. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that. And the kid. You've got such a gorgeous son. Thank you. Yes, he's adorable. He's My absolutely superstar. adorable. How's motherhood? Uh, motherhood is great, man. And I, yeah. it's, it's challenging, but I learned so much from that boy, man. Mm. And I think even even being able to wake up, sorry, even for this morning, you know, I, mm. I think about my son and him waking up to go to school. I'm like, I'm not I don't if a two-year-old can wake up with a smile mm. and say he's ready to go to school. I can do better as a human being. So he teaches yes. me so much um, about just being human and just the innocence of being a child and seeing the world with with those eyes now I look at him and I'm like okay cool there's still hope Zola you were part of a TV show that was a big moment in South African television it was a turnaround and we spoke about it off air it pains me that you know sometimes channel executives can things for whatever reasons they Mm -hmm. can them for Mm -hmm. but when given a chance Mm -hmm. our content can really be like world class Mm -hmm. you know yes intersections yeah and i'm sitting here we're busy going on and hammering over in lockdown Mm. i'm like i know her from somewhere else but (laughs) lockdown before the generations yeah intersections yeah that was my first first tv gig 
So when you got that script for audition and you saw what it was about yeah. and how complex yeah yeah the 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 the, the, the story mm-hmm. backdrop was mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. cheating mm-hmm. sex yeah sexual intercourse and yeah. everything that comes with that mess mm-hmm. what gave you the confidence to say i'm going to do this one and it might not ruin my career um that was my first step um, so I was still at Vits because um, I studied dramatic arts. So I was still at Vits when the auditions came out. So we were doing season two. So we already previewed to season one and what yeah. it was about. Um, I was literally taking a chance, man. It was an open audition. So there were thousands of us um, at what is it called? Newtown Baseline. Yeah. So we're in line doing sun salutations there and warming up in front of everyone and people looking at us like, okay, these drama kids, you yeah. know, but we're like, we know what we're doing, yeah. you know. Um, so I was just taking a chance, man. And I don't think um then it it was it was that scary because um intersections had a role to play then you know and it was teaching us about hiv and you know and, yeah. and all yeah. the intricacies yes. of it you know and like you say it's so sad that now we we have let um storytelling and te- and the power of storytelling and television um take a back seat on all the things that are happening now oh, true. Come you know on. True, true. yeah because it was a beautiful platform where we could learn and see it as uncomfortable as it was but at least we had that mirror somewhere mm. now we need to try to deal with things on social media and sometimes it's misconstrued or yes. people will say this and that not enough so, characters not enough characters a healthy conversation yeah and not, and not giving mm. us actually like um, characters and people and stereotypes that we can really connect to and be like oh Asia that's ish, that's soul mm. yeah that's definitely it you know oh shucks mm. that's Zola for real yes. you know what I'm saying yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, man, I think then it was just taking the first step and it worked out. Look, it's been a long journey since Intersections. We are way more seasoned now. Mm. Do you still pick your roles? Are there certain roles you want to pick? Because I noticed on your Insta bio, it says hashtag give me any role. Uh-huh. What's that about? <laughs> and how do you choose your roles these days? So I pride myself in um, the gift you know, I used to call it the power, but I call it the gift of transformation. I love transforming. And, and I think that's why it made even, um, what is the show called? Um, lockdown, such a success. It mm. gave me a chance to, to be seen as something that um, you wouldn't imagine that I would be, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But right now, I am, and of course, we grow as people, right? I'm at a phase where I, I do say no to some roles um, in respect of my beliefs in respect of my partner and my family and the things that I want to do mm. so now I'm in a stage where oh, okay cool Le and because mm. at the, the beginning you're like you want to take everything Every, yeah, you want to be on screen mm-hmm. you don't want to be forgotten like no if mm. I'm not on screen I was like boy on your TV what's happening like no you know and then you end up getting into things um, that you're possibly not comfortable with or even in that um, discomfort you then lack the authenticity or the chance for you to actually settle into it and then you're just doing it for the sake of doing it. I like that, lacking the authenticity. Something mm. that might not be deemed as authentic because, um, you know, products are products, they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. You, we are not reinventing wheels now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One has a makeup brand, another has a makeup brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is making this vehicle, the other is making a similar vehicle. Yeah. Shifted different here, there and the other. But your story and your narrative and your inspiration behind it, mm. like you mentioned intentions. Yeah. You've got this body shaper thing. Mm-hmm. Is it birthed and seeded from the struggles of gaining your shape back after giving birth Mm -hmm. or is it seeded by hearing the struggles of many women what seeded you going into that line of business yeah um so i firstly um got it got into really being out there in terms of like attending events and now um taking what i wear and how i wear it Mm. and how it sits so um i needed shapewear after obviously giving birth and now the body has changed i'm like okay cool and i just need shapewear not because i don't love myself but to just accentuate this lovely new um, body that i have and you could see what okay cool i'm not really getting something that i love and i met someone who was like look man let's make it happen for ourselves because we can see that there's a gap for it in the market Mm. and we took it what's your shapewear called LXVE. It's called LXVE. what? LXVE, which is for love. LXVE. Lux Love. Lux Love. Yes. Ah, that's nice. That's very nice. Yes. Well, Godspeed with that. Thank All the you. best with that. Where can we find it? Um, So we are on social media. You can follow at LXVE underscore uh, on Instagram. And we are there. We also have a WhatsApp number. It's available on our bio. And we are ready. Let's start the year. Ladies, I'm looking fly. Get Fashini to get on top of that. Yeah, we're working on it. Have a greater conversation, businesswoman. Yes. Nicely done. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Carl. Thanks for stopping by. (laughs) Thank you.